Hello everyone, we're praising that sun here in Orlando. It is part 55 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Last time we defeated the Iron Golem after rushing through Sand's Fortress. And I was actually able to get him to fall off the ledge, which is something that is pretty hit or miss. I get it sometimes, but <laughs> I tend to not get things that I want to get on camera. Anyway, we are on a mission today to beat orange scene and smoke um i'm on a mission to get it done in this session because so here's here's some behind the scenes um secrets i'm gonna tell you guys is that whenever i start making an episode the first like 10 minutes i'm always like you know kind of rusty uh, rusty getting into the zone and all that but then once i'm like revved up i feel like i'm much better at being entertaining in the video you know so in theory the longer of a session I do, the more I can keep that momentum going. Because right, if I just make like a 20 minute episode here and there um, on multiple days, then I have to devote 10 minutes to winding up, for example, right? Which means half my footage is going to suck. But if I get like 10 episodes done in one sitting, and that's, that, that is an ambitious number. <laughs> but in theory, only the first 10 minutes of the first episode is going to be kind of mediocre. And then the rest is going to be that A star, my quality quality you guys love. So anyway, that's the goal for today. Got some time. I want to get a lot of things going, especially with the holidays coming up. I want to get some uh, some videos scheduled, ready to go, and all that. But yada yada yada. Most of y'all are gonna be watching this once the series is complete, anyway. So, wow, well, that is irrelevant. Anyway, here's our um, firekeeper friend. Well, you are well. If I don't really need to talk to her. She just tells us it's time for time for the trials around here. Yeah. Yeah, we know. We know. Anyway, we got a lot of souls, so let's go ahead and level up because there's like not really anything I want to buy. Perfect enough for two levels. Get to level 35 for intelligence. I think I just want to get to like 40 intelligence and then we'll just go back to faith because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Because probably I want to get things from Big Head. Um, that might have been a good way to spend the souls, but maybe we'll do that with our orange scene and small souls. Anyway, guys. Let us, uh, you know what? Well, you know what? No, we'll be human in the castle. We'll be human in the castle. There's really not much of a need to be human in this area. I don't even know if you can like do invasion stuff right here. Uh, yeah, we gotta go to the painting house. Then we gotta do the deal with the archers. And then all of that is just gonna be a very long distance because this city was not designed for tiny little humans made for the gods who are pretty thick large fellows oh man I mean, this guy gave me a lot of trouble in the first place and he's giving me some more again okay we got a number on him there just let me drag and I am just... <laughs> oh my god. Ah! There we go. Yeah. Definitely uh, being kind of lazy. Just accepting my poise. <laughs> That's my defense. Um, I feel like I would do very badly in Bloodborne with that strategy. Which I think I mentioned, but I have never actually played. But I really want to give it a try. The problem is, I don't have a PS4. And I don't have a PS5. I'm in a bit of a vicious cycle with Sony right now where I want to, I've been wanting to get their stuff or a console since like 2015 ish or maybe like 2016 when I actually had a job. <laughs> but the problem is the latest one that's out is basically impossible to buy. As of right now, that would be the PS5. However, by the time it's going to be possible to buy them, freaking like PS5 Pro or whatever is going to be out. And then I'm going to be like, well, I don't want to get the subpar model. I want to get the. PS5 Pro, and then I can't buy that, and then we repeat, because <laughs> by the time you can buy PS5 Pros, the PS5 Pro Plus Ultra is out, and then just like, it just never ends, <laughs> it's literally never ends, and I've been in this cycle for like, well, I don't know, like I said, five or so years now, <laughs> so <laughs> no Bloodborne for me, no Spider-Man for me, no any like good Sony games I want to play. Unless they get ported, if I'm lucky, but they probably won't. You know what? They're missing out. Because um, the other aspect of the cycle is that, like, 
I don't always have the money for one. So it's like it has to line up that um, if I get lucky and there's actually one available. Oh, buddy, can you not? Um, sorry, this part needs a lot of concentration <laughs> so I don't fall. But um, if it comes out and I don't actually have the money or desire to buy it, then of course I'm not going to buy it. Okay, anyway, uh, with that out of the way. I'm playing on PC. Probably going to keep playing on PC forever. Thankfully, Elden Ring is going to be coming out on PC. Very happy about that. Because that's a game I'm really looking forward to. Because um, it basically, basically looks like Dark Souls 3 combined with Breath of the Wild, which is a very potent combo. Because I, I played Breath of the Wild. Um, it was fun for me at first, but I got old pretty quickly, in my opinion. But <laughs> that's just me. So, I think one of the problems that made it stale was the combat. It didn't feel that good to me, as well as just exploration games in general. Just get repetitive, it's like, oh cool, I'm looking, there's another camp, and oh, I get another another weapon that I'm probably not going to use. Oh, yeah, that's the guys here. Um, and then, okay, you know what my biggest complaint with Breath of the Wild is? And um, people, like... Have, it's like such a hot take apparently because like I've gotten all sorts of people who very aggressively agree or just think I'm stupid. But basically, I say that the raining ruined that game um, specifically because when it rains you can't climb. And this is where I would get like mixed opinions because some people claim that you can climb in the rain if you know what you're doing. But I swear I have tried everything. I looked up guides and this and that and. My verdict is you cannot climb in the rain. <laughs> like it just, it just doesn't work. And the main reason why this is a problem is because you have a game that's made around exploring, and one of the main mechanics is to be able to climb wherever you want. Therefore, when it starts raining, like you, uh, Reggie may as well just come in and just take your control out of your hands for like ten minutes. So like, <laughs> it just ruins the flow of the game so badly, and it just kept happening at the worst times. The thing that made me literally stop playing, there's this one part where it's like literally this giant, like 20 to 30 story, just like rock spire you gotta climb. And I think there's like a shrine at the top or something. But um, I spent like quite a bit of time because it's like a matter of like, you have to find spots to strategically rest and you gotta, you know, use your stamina potions and all these things i just burned through so much supplies and just time and energy literally i was like maybe 30 seconds away from the top it was in sight and then it starts freaking raining and then i slip off and just <laughs> i couldn't I, it broke me like no more breath of the wild just became a bad game after that in my opinion but that's just me um which is why i'm excited for elden ring because dark souls it is such a good game that the uh, there's no way they're gonna mess it up. It's, it's gonna be a perfect game, and I don't care what anyone says. Um, that being said, I am not pre-ordering it because I don't do that on principle anymore. Because I'm just so sick of bad games. Okay. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is this got dangerous. <laughs> but I am I'm still looking forward to it. You know, like just because I don't pre-order it doesn't mean I'm not looking forward to it. No! <laughs> oh. Rambling on too much. That's what I get. That's what I get. They know. Okay, so I hope that's not a bad omen for Elden Ring. <laughs> I don't think it will be, but um, either way, I will meet you guys over there. Hey, and we're back. Um, hiding from the big boy. And it goes again. Yeah, back up, back up, buddy. Um, he's freaking... Gargoyles gave me more trouble than I would have thought. But the key is you just gotta try to lure them one at a time. Because most enemies are just really busted and they can gang up on you. So I made Dark Souls 2 really bad in my opinion because most of the challenge that they applied was just a matter of oh let's just throw a swarm of enemies at him. That'll, that'll be fun guys are light on their feet. Bobbing and weaving. Coming in. Okay, come here. 
Okay, we got it. Okay, it's one down. Let's try to lower. One in the lower, yeah. Did you just jump up? You did. I think I mentioned you can knock this guy off from a distance with a magic missile. Which um, I do not have on me. I might have a spell. I probably do have a spell wand. But I do not have it equipped at a bonfire. So y'all are missing out. Uh, anyway. Uh, we still got two more to fight. And one thing I wanted to showcase, but if you lure both of them and then come here, they can sort of like chase each other off. Uh, or what I mean by that is when he does the jumping attack, there's a chance he like jumps too far. Um, I just want to find a good mood to showcase. Okay, okay, he's close. He's close. And there he goes. <laughs> uh, that's a nice little way to make this place spot a little easier. As we saw, fighting two of these guys at once is not a good time. So I'm going to use every exploit I can. Again, we also don't want to fight in the middle there because then the archers are going to be shooting at us. Just want to take your time. You know what? So just do this. Burn! Oh wow, that did way more damage than I thought. I thought these guys are considered demons. I mean, they are called demon gargoyles, right? So therefore chaos wouldn't be that effective. But I guess I'm wrong. Okay, so uh, these guys, same deal as first time. You just gotta not get hit, just calmly walk, run up this way. And then just gotta dodge and roll. Then once he pulls up the sword, just a little parry. And, go. and I think we get a one shot there, it looks like. Or not. But close enough. No! <laughs> uh, okay. So don't don't do one-handed swing. Oh my god. What you guys back there? Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't kill any of the gargoyles. They're all chasing me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are they coming? Oh god. They're coming. Okay. High stakes. High stakes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, ha, ah, one of them dead. Okay, that's good for us. So, what did we learn? We're going to... We're going to still get a parry. But then, after the parry, we are going to... Not do a one-handed swing. Probably a two-handed swing will work. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Almost didn't. But it did, so we're now past the hard part. <laughs> Thank God. So, let's come down here. Through the fog. And we are good. And I don't remember if I talked to Solaire. Hopefully he's going to be here because otherwise I'm going to have to backtrack all the way down. Because we do actually have to see the alternate side of his quest. And for that, we need him to be here. Yay. Okay. Basically, we're going to just, um, if you remember in the first playthrough, um, remember when we were in Lost Isolith and we went and opened the shortcut to kill the Sunlight Maggot? We're going to not do that this time. Um, that would give us the alternate reality for him. Go ahead and can't level up. Um, let's pop some humanity. Let's talk to him actually. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning, Arthur. You left me. Yeah, oh, yeah, I think uh, nothing new. Uh, no, hello. Uh, I mean, there's not much more to talk to him about. I think you just gotta acknowledge him. Um, I do like to make sure I exhaust the dialogue. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better. I think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Nothing like a little bit of bromance with Solaire. Let's pray together. Okay. So, um, again, like I said last time, with when it comes to my timer and dying a lot, I'm just really thrown off. So, we got the rest of the castle to explore. So, um, or not explore because we've already done it, but um. <laughs> Got the rest of the castle to play through. So I'm going to save that for next episode because. Where am I? When did I start the recording? You know what? I think about that. Let's clear out some of the castle. That way we have plenty of time for the boss battle next time. Um, let's 
come in here. Uh, I'm probably gonna skip certain rooms. Like we don't, there's no really need to go down to where Havel's stuff is because again, we already have his armor and you can't put on armor twice. It'd be really cool if you could, but you can't. So there's no reason to do that. Um, as far as what we are gonna do, it's a good question. Um, Okay, here's what we are gonna do is we're gonna kindle the bonfire and put go human and use a um summon sign because I feel like this is a pretty good PvP area, so there's probably a decent chance that we'll get summon going. Uh if not, well then <laughs> life sucks, doesn't it? Okay, I mean wait, there's a guy to bonfire right there. And when you see other people, that means someone's active around here. Um, oh, I got a Kindle, I got a Kindle. And if they're active, they might summon me. Or they might invade me or something. Might finally get some player action. Either way, let's uh, throw down our sign and see what happens. Um, oh, I have 15. Oh, I just realized, I think these fires, they stay kindled through New Game Plus, so that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, where do we want to go first? I don't know if I want to do like the full-on shortcut, but okay, ow, oh. there we go. Um, yeah, doing the full-on shortcut where we jump through the stairs, uh, like we're gonna basically be at the boss room at that point, and I could do that, but <laughs> I don't know, it seems kind of cheap. Like, okay, I would do that, right, but we just put down our summon sign. I want to give it a chance to work. You know, for that reason, I am going to go just fight the Mimic down here. And, okay, may as well do all the Hevel stuff. Because if I just rush to the boss, then there's no time to get summoned, which is unfortunate. And I won't be doing any summoning of other people, because... I gotta prove I can fight the bosses on my own, right? Like, like or something like that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and this guy smack. A little one, two, sidestep. Yeah, the best dodges are where you don't even have to roll. You just are standing in the sweet spot and don't have to worry. Get the club again. Um, and it's gonna clog up my inventory, but me as well. Grab this stuff. The shield and his tooth and his rocky rock armor. Very cool, very cool. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I talk, went into it last time, but I guess I'll talk about it now again. But the whole reason all this stuff is down here is like Havel was basically planning a little insurrection, right? He had an occult club. And I think I mentioned that occult, that whole like upgrade paths gimmick is that it is extra damaging against the gods. Um, meaning he was planning something by keeping an occult club in the basement like this. Um, and that's part of why he got locked away because because uh, Gwyn saw that and was like, no, no, no. And the reason why he was planning something is because uh, oh, is because he, uh, Gwyn basically made a deal with Scalus, and then Havel's like, no, we cannot have any interaction with dragons. So that's why Havel was doing that. Anyway, we saw how that turned out from he's just locked in the tower until he went hollow. But eventually we put him out of his misery because we are awesome like that. Um, I don't think there's much in here, it's just like a little. View of the trophy room. Yeah, that's a big drag right there. I think um, this must have been the size. Might even be smaller than the one that guards the uh, bridge in the undead parish. Um, not the parish, I think. It's still technically the undead burg. But like right as you're at the threshold of the parish. Uh, you all know what I'm talking about. Their big red one that shoots fire. Ooh. And we got Still no summons, which is um, very sad. In hindsight, I just wish I did all the summoning and stuff in the first playthrough. 
and then New Game Plus should have been when I was like doing solo stuff because this one it just becomes impossible <laughs> to meet anyone. I wonder. I don't know if like Dark Souls Remastered is essentially dead. Like, I mean, we saw that guy at the bonfire. I think it's just because I'm so I'm at like the upper levels at this point that um, it's gonna be rare to find someone of a similar level. Because the other problem too at this point is that there's no real consistency as far as like your actual level of where you're at. So like someone who's at this point in the game could be like 20 levels off from me or something. Um, and that's not even to mention that, but depending on how much people like to grind and just charge up their level artificially, definitely throws things off too. Um, but yeah, no big deal. No big deal. Okay, um, I'm worried that we're getting into an awkward timing with the episode now, but I think it's fine. It's a okay. Get you out of here. Yep. Easy peasy. Uh, I don't know if we got any of their drops yet. Um, I guess I could just check real quick. Uh, but yeah, they do drop their sword and they drop their spear and their shield. And it doesn't look like we have any of them. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool weapons. I think they uh, they do a little bit of lightning damage and they have the holy modifier on them, which basically means they're like a blessed weapon. Um, I don't know. Wait, no. Blessed, I think, is from Dark Souls 3. The, the holy weapon, you know, the, uh, the one that we get from the Moonlight Butterfly, that ember. Let's fight this guy the old-fashioned way. Okay, the old-fashioned way is bombing. Uh, let's see, it could go this way. Because I'm with the three knights and Sigurd. I, don't, I think I forgot to talk to Sigurd, so I'm pretty sure I already broke his quest in this save file for this new game. But it's fine. We did the full, full um, his full quest in the first game, so we are Gucci in that regard. Nothing else to see for him. Sigurd is definitely a very cool character. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Spears have long range. How could I have forgotten? But yeah, no, Sigurd, he's, he's a real cool character in my opinion. Um, okay, buddy. Yeah, this is, this is not a good situation for me. You know what? Let's just parry. <laughs> when in doubt, parry it out. Um, but yeah, Sigurd, really nice. He's a... What's the word? Like underdog maybe um you know he's not like that charging heroic hero but he's just another sort of lost soul in this crazy world very fitting for a world like dark souls in my opinion so let's go ahead and get another set of silver knight armor for no reason at all but most importantly we want to open the shortcut here so at this point, what's left? Uh, we would go up and in, into there to go see the giant blacksmith, I suppose. But like, we don't really need anything there. So I think now is good enough to sort of just call it an episode, right? <laughs> so with that being said, um, we're gonna end here in the trophy room. Just look at all these dragons that he killed. Like, damn bro. <laughs> Well, I think most of these are drakes, which is kind of like cheating in my opinion. But anyway, before I start rambling, let's, uh, let's leave it at that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun time watching. I had a fun time making it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.